Hey guys, today we will talk about some of the market changes. Modern Masters 2017 was just released, so there has been a lot of ups and downs for particular Magic cards. Pretty much the basic idea is this. If it was reprinted, it is still going down. If it was not reprinted, it is likely to still be going up. So let's take a look at weekly changes. We have Pack of Negation, Chalice, Leyline, Noble Hierarch, Pack of another Pack of Negation, Dark Confidant finally sees a slight bump after just plummeting, Ancestral Vision, the other Dark Confidant, Scape Shift, and a little bit of upwards movement for Death Shadow because it is a tier 1 deck. So for down, we have Karn Liberated, which was not reprinted in this particular 2017, but I believe it was reprinted in 2015. And then you have all the fetch lands. You have Lily, Venture, Snapcaster has finally gone down to $35.99, which is pretty good price. Damnation, this one's kind of surprising. If you told me you could get Damnation for $25, it's not bad, and it is likely to continue its downward spiral. These cards that were reprinted have just started opening. People will open these cards for the next 30, 60 days. Uh, flooding the market, Goblin Guide is currently under $17 as well. So when you talk about the main cards, Lily at 65, I think she can drop to 50. Uh, it, I'm sure that there will be one or two eBay auctions at 50 where it's a good deal. And when you take a look at the Snapcaster Maids, the Damnation, the Goblin Guides, Goblin Guide was hit incredibly hard, as well as Damnation, because those are rares. Snapcaster Maids was hit hard too. There's just so many, there's so much value in this particular set that overall are reprint at this scale so everything that has been said i went to a few local stores yesterday with a friend and they were selling boxes for 200 and one store was selling boxes for 259 but there was no shortage of boxes they both stores had boxes available to sell and that's not that was not the case with original modern masters they didn't have any boxes they pre-ordered sold them and then were not able to stock them so if you can go to your local game store and you see the boxes on these shelves you see the boxes you know displayed nicely and no one's buying it and that was an, on the saturday that means there's probably enough supply if they're selling for 200 no one's buying at 200 that really tells me the supply is very good because the set EV is incredibly high with the Fetch Lands, Damnation, and Goblin Guide all at non-mythic. Now, one of the things that I would caution you to do is save some money, buy some of these cards 60 days from now, that would be the lowest price. But buying cards right now that you need, let's say that you have a modern event or modern FNM, just buy them now because you're, you're just saving so much money. So when you take a look at what has actually gone down, Lily of the Veil, Damnation, Goblin Guide, Blood Moon has started tanking very hard as well, as well as Levana. These cards were all $40 cards before reprint. Now they can't even, they're not even $15 cards. They might not even be $10 cards. Just the expected value with so many people opening boxes will caused a it will create a a chance an opportunity if you will to buy these cards for the cheapest price point which should be in 60 days overall the market has if it was reprinted modern masters 2017 it is tanking incredibly hard right now i don't see that i see that hard tank continuing for at least another week or two and then eventually it will have a slower decline like original modern masters and Modern Masters 2017, uh, 2015. Uh, it should follow 2015 more closely because there is more supply of it. I don't, if Wizard of the Coast uh, has changed policies, which I believe Eternal Masters, the double, re the double print run, shows that they are willing to print as many, of, as many boxes as they can sell, then this makes a lot of sense. Every store is going to want more of these. A store is going to be able to buy for 140. They're going to be able to sell it for at least 180, 200. 
they're going to say, okay, load me up with as many of these as you can. And that's how a store makes money, even though they're singles. Uh, the two stores I visited yesterday, they don't have a huge single collection. They probably make most of the money selling boxes. I would be, I mean, I would hesitate to say that stores make a ton of money selling singles in Houston over boxes because the amount of boxes someone can move is quite a lot. And every box, if you if you get for 140, you know, selling for 200, every box is a guaranteed $60. It's a lot easier to sell a box for 200 than it is to sell a, uh, a dual land. I guess that's a, probably the closest example. So if you try to sell a dual land, if you buy it at buy list from your member, from someone at your store, and then you try to sell it, it sits there for a long time before you get a buyer. And conditioning is always a concern. Why would you do that instead of just selling an extra box of Modern Masters to make up that $60? Anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, that is Market Watch for today, this week. Uh, if you like the series, I will continue to do it. And it's just kind of like an update of like what's going on. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.